right, here we are again with the Raspberry Pi setup. Um, the only real difference here, well, two, two slight differences, but um, one additional thing I'm doing here is I'm using this HDMI to VGA adapter. So the HDMI to VGA adapter um, is what I'm using instead of using this composite outlet here with the cable. Uh, before I was using this um, this small monitor. Um, so it's kind of good that for portability. This is actually a really great little monitor here. Um, because it's small, it's portable, it's, you can see the sides of it here, it's, um, you know, slightly, slightly larger than the Raspberry Pi, but it's not, like, so gigantic or anything. So I was using this in a previous video, and you can see here that it has these connectors. So now, I'm not using this one. I'm using this monitor here. So I found this monitor in our house. So this is what I'm going to use. It's quite a bit larger. It's, I don't even know how big this is. Like, it's, it's maybe 20, 20 something inches. It's over 17 inches. I know that much. This thing is, is a lot bigger. So I'm going to be using this, um, you can see here it has a VGA for the display input and this is the HDMI to VGA cable adapter. Pretty much all I really did was I took it out of that packaging and I connected the VGA cable to this end of the adapter to the VGA end and then the HDMI goes into the Raspberry Pi. Um, I still have the the same setup I had as last time. I have this Dell keyboard and a Logitech mouse. I'm powering the Raspberry Pi through um, this USB cable through my i iPod um, my iPhone power adapter. This I'm not using. I was using this one for the uh, for powering the small monitor. So pretty much you can see if I plug this in just real quick. We'll see here. There we are. The Raspberry Pi is booting up. Sorry for the light on the screen. It's a little dark in this corner. You can see the indicator lights are on. And you see this flashing. Um, that's the Wi-Fi dongle. So here we are booted up again, just in larger, much larger screen. Um, this isn't a touch screen like my like the other Vio Sony um, computer that was running Windows 8. This one is a um, I don't know. It just says up here. It says multi sync LCD. The model number 2090UXI, and it's by NEC, you see here. So this is the monitor I just found. Um, yeah, I gotta love that I have a pretty techie family. I can just find like random hardware just lying around in the garage. Um, so yeah, you see the mouse here moving on the bottom left. 
Let me just play around with this for a second. This is the first time I'm actually really setting it up.